If I were to ask you, how would you think of Christian Yelich, what would you respond with? You'd probably respond that he was a good player in the 2018 to, and 2019 seasons, right? Well, what happened in 2020, though? What happened in 2021? This is the story of what happened, and you'll be learning all about it. Christian Yelich won National League MVP in 2018 for the Brewers and finished second in National League MVP voting in 2019. He led the league in many stats for those two years, such as batting average and then on-base percentage in 2019, slugging, OPS, OPS+, and total bases in 2018. How could he have fell off so far as to have a 205 batting average in 2020? You might say that's 2020. Well, this year it's 248. His home runs have taken a significant decrease as well, as he has went from 36 and 44 to the past two seasons being 12 and 9. He seems to have lost his power. It may be his power, or it could be something we've never thought of before. It could be BABIP, which stands for batting average on balls in play. So basically, Christian Yelich seems to have like went down dramatically in BABIP, right? Take 2021, sure, that might be decent, but I'd say it's just a fluke. Other stats can also reveal how he's fallen off like isolated power. These are Christian Yelich's ISO numbers from the past four years. If you look at it, it looks bad, right? Considering he dropped a whole 100 points from 2020 to 2021. In case you don't know, ISO is a player's batting average if they only hit extra base hits which is astonishing how Christian Yelich would have a 342 batting average only hitting extra base hits. In 2021, it seemed that he's hitting more singles and being a primarily contact hitter, as before, he would be hitting with a lot of power. At least that's what I want you to think. He has not been a contact hitter at all the last few years. In fact, in 2020, he had a 205 batting average, and in 2021, he had a 248 batting average. He is definitely not a contact hitter. Christian Yelich is so good in 2018 and 2019 that now he's considered a failure as a league average hitter. In 2020, he was 10% better than the league average hitter using a stat called OPS+, Plus, which 100 is the league average. OPS pretty much just means on-base plus slugging, so it determines who's the best hitter, pretty much. And in 2021, he was only 1% worse than the average player. I don't get the hate. That's all I have to say for now.